Breaking story for Friday, August 22nd, 2014, with the Islamic State, formerly known as ISIS, beheading journalists, beheading uh, Christians, threatening uh, the homeland of the United States of America, tweeting landmarks Chicago, but they are here. With the borders wide open, they are here. And with Russia moving convoys of weapons now into the Ukraine, Hamas firing missiles, a young Jewish boy was killed. We have, coming from the Pentagon, Chinese jet threatened a U.S. Navy intelligence plane. This Chinese jet fighter got a little too close for comfort. We are on the brink of tribulation and the rapture of the church. Let me play this for you now. Now you asked about China, um, and I know you may all have seen a press report on this, so let me give you a, a little bit of a, I'm going to just give you an update here about, uh, about it in case you weren't uh, following. But uh, on the 19th of August and on, Chinese fighter jet conducted a dangerous intercept of a U.S. Navy P-8 Poseidon aircraft, a patrol aircraft that was on a routine mission. The intercept took place about 135 miles east of Hainan Island in international airspace. We have registered our strong concerns to the Chinese about the unsafe and unprofessional intercept, which posed a risk to the safety and the well-being of the air crew uh, and was inconsistent with customary international law. Also, it undermines, and we've made this clear, that it undermines efforts to continue developing military-to-military -military relations with the, with the Chinese military. Um, so it, uh, that's where we are now. Um, it's uh, difficult to say with um, precision, but um, uh, within 30 feet of the P-8, uh, very, very close, uh, very dangerous. Is it correct to us that like within 30 feet they moved around the U.S. aircraft over, under, around it at close range? We believe that they uh, they made several passes, three different occasions, crossed under the aircraft, uh, with uh, one pass having only 50 to 100 feet separation. Uh, the Chinese jet also passed the nose of the P-8 at, at 90 degrees uh, with its belly toward the P-8 Poseidon. Um, we believe would to make a point of showing its weapons low at. Um, and uh, then they flew directly under uh, and alongside the P-8, uh, bringing their wingtips, as I said, to within 20 feet. Um, uh, and then conducted a roll, a roll over the P-8, passing within 45 feet. So, um, I mean a roll. Um, I'm not an aviator, so I'm not good talking with my hands, but basically if you're the PA, um, so pretty aggressive and uh, uh, very unprofessional. As I said, we've registered our concerns very strongly uh, through the official uh, uh, diplomatic channels with the, with the Chinese. Uh, this kind of behavior uh, not only is unprofessional, it's unsafe, and it is certainly not in keeping with the kind of uh, military to military relationship. Uh, relations that we've got to have with the child. I believe there's imagery of it, uh, Jim. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to get back to him there. I'm not sure. Leave me comments, everyone. We're on the brink of a tribulation and a third world war.